the land was donated by Lord Hastings to Broadland Housing Association and he put a number of stipulations on his donation. One should be that it should be of the highest design quality and the second that it should be of the very highest sustainability quality. Passive was the next step for us, really to help us in the way that we build, the quality of the homes that we build and also for our tenants' housing bills. There's a lot of intricate details. We had to work fairly closely with the architects and specialist um, manufacturers to overcome. But all the detailing and the materials are drawn from local examples. So we've got soft red brick, all the houses around here are constructed with soft red brick. Big black roofs that we have you'll see locally in the farm buildings and we've also got weatherboarding and none of the team had ever done a passive house before so it was a learning experience for all of us. The young guys that are just joining the industry, they really enjoyed it because they actually said this is how we've been taught, this is how we want to build for the future. Everybody involved wanted to be part of that team. Probably the hardest part that we had was to get to the air testing levels that were needed. So we were working through a particularly bad winter, which uh, meant we had to change some of the components that we were looking to use, especially some of the tape systems that didn't work so well in the wet. We managed to overcome that and got the Passive House accreditation, which we were very pleased with. We've got two sites. One site is designed to Passive House standards. The other site is designed to low energy standards. The two sites will be monitored side by side. The research that we've put into uh, monitoring over the past year is going to really drive what we're doing in the future. We're looking at houses now that are costing between 80 and 90 pounds a year to heat. This winter that just passed, okay, it wasn't particularly hard winter, but we did have the occasional day that was minus five, minus six. The outside of the windows froze, but inside the house it was 18 degrees. To be in a house that's built to these sort of standards is absolutely fantastic.